I remember reading about Mark Twain, and he was a very brilliant speaker, had an incredibly creative mind. He went through some tragedies in life where he basically turned away from God. His brother died and burnt in a uh, riverboat explosion and a lot of other tragedies, and he just he thought God burned people in hell for and ever and ever. And like others, it just he turned away from God, became pretty much an agnostic. Well, he was a good speaker, great writer, lost almost all of his money through bad business investments. He invested in some typesetting machine for years and just lost almost everything. So he had to go on the road speaking to make money. And he went on tours across America, went to Europe, and, and he became incredibly famous. It was very successful. And as he was traveling around Europe, people were just so um, entertained with his wit and his humor that he was invited to the palaces and the parliaments, and he was meeting everybody kings and queens all across Europe in this very triumphant tour. And his daughter was with him, and she was so proud of her dad. She said, Papa, I said, soon you're going to know everybody except God. And he did. He knew everybody. But if you don't know God, what good is it? Philippians chapter 3, verse 7. Listen to Paul's priority. But what things were gained to me... These I have counted loss for Christ. Yet, indeed, I count all things for loss for, listen, the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I've suffered the loss of all things, and I count them as rubbish, that I might gain Christ. And jump to verse 10. That I might know him and the power of his resurrection. Friends, do you have that hunger? If you didn't start today, I sure hope you do at the end that you might know God. Don't you want to know him better? I mean, what could be more precious than that? The supreme goal in life, in my estimation, is to know God and his love and share God and his love. This church exists for those goals, to know God and his love and to share God and his love. Everything else is secondary. So is it the priority in your life